Yeah, this video is going to have to end on the dot. Hello, hello, hello. Tuta here. Coming in, I'm going to search for to bring you another video of War on the Sea. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you know, there's the bug. Uh. So, yeah, it's basically best way to figure it to start this out is sorry for the lack of videos but unfortunately with my job and the way it works that's gonna happen especially near days like this with the uh, Super Bowl because it, yeah just crazy So there are times where I will not be able to upload anything. Yeah, let's see if we can launch a strike against these guys. Alrighty. You are launching the valves. Set your course. You are launching the Kates. Set your course. Uh, what's the? I should probably get escorts on them. Now that I think about it. Zero should catch up. Oh yeah, easily. We should have like what one, two fighters left, possibly a full squadron. No, they look like they're. They might be from a land base. Who knows? They're automatically going back, which is good. I am going to have you slow down until the fighters catch up. Excellent. Okay. Well, I say that worked out pretty damn well. Get too close. Move back a bit because you're going to be. Okay, that works. As long as the fighters are technically in front. I uh, wasn't well, want to be that close, but. Uh... Shit. I will hold off until the attack as much as I can. Okay, as much as I can. Because they're gonna slow down. You might not slow down. You are definitely slowing down, and so are you. That's exactly what I was expecting. Uh, one, two, three, four. Eight. I see nine, ten. I see ten enemy aircraft. Good. I don't want you... Some of you guys probably have no ammo, don't you? Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, that's it. Uh, you gotta fucking up again because of the way the game is. Turn back up into a mid formation and fly away from the enemy fleet. You can form up into a group of four here, real quick. Fly away from the enemy fleet. You have like no ammo, but it'll be good for like distracting. I am just hitting all the wrong fucking keys right now. This is this. Ugh. Well, would you look at that? They targeted number one and not the closest one. Ain't that interesting? A trade. We're gonna finish dogfight and then we'll see what the uh, enemy fleet is doing. So they have a dead zero. Actually, the speaking of 20 mils, uh, I remember I was reading the comments and I saw Adam ask how many uh, 20 mils can a wildcat take? Is that not a lot? That sucks. Actually, yeah, the wildcat, despite being a low velocity 20 millimeter. Like they're diving for the uh, spike aircraft. It's still a 20 millimeter cannon, and a 20 millimeter cannon hurts a lot. You're gonna maneuver, okay. Like a lot. Is that a wildcat? It is. Oh, for Christ's sakes, I hit the one button you should have shot. There we go. 
This actually isn't going well for us. I'm quite lucky that worked. There's two left. One left. Come around. Ooh, that could have been a good one, but you fucked it up. Oh, well, we got, we are on his six. She goes where you stop. Well, how the hell should I fucking know? Come on. There we go. Okay, let's not have the remaining zeros fly towards the fleet. Oh, fuck you. There we go. All right, let's figure this mumbo jumbo mess out. Okay, there's out here. So I'm almost tempted to leave, let them reform up, and then come back in. Watch the carriers all the way on the other fucking side. they're doing but yeah I'd like him to get back into a formation that would actually help a lot fly right over him as stupid as it sounds so discombobulated like might as well just go with the attack at least on the carrier yeah because they guys are such and such a turn torpedo bombers aren't going to be useful so we'll, we'll do the attack with the dive bombers first when they would shoot their buddies. Good job on you. If I can shoot this gap. This whole squadron's gonna die. Uh, this whole squadron will probably die and these guys might be the ones that actually get the bombs off. I 
wish I could tell them to fly faster during their strike, but, you know. Wish in one hand. Shit, yeah, then you're gonna miss. Oh, that dude, from the way it looks like, it's almost looks like it's gonna bomb this guy. That was look good. This is very unfortunate. This is actually quite ridiculous when it comes to valves. Oh my god. Something. Okay, there's gotta be something fixed with that. They gotta patch. They gotta do something, because. That is so bad. Oh, well, you're dead. Their bombs are so bad. Their aim is so bad. Like the, the like the SPD is they can get away with having ishy aim, but I very rarely seen them have any ishy aim. They almost are always fucking dead on with their one thousands. And it's a one thousand pound bomb. They hit a Val carries a shit bomb. It it does no fucking damage. Wow, that was actually close to taking his ass out. It does no damage. <laughs> And it can't hit the broad side of a barn door. There is either A, there's something wrong with it, or B, that needs to get patched. Like, seriously. Because it was a valve that put the beginning death blow of many of the American carriers. Like, for example, Yorktown, Hornet, and I think it was also Lexington. Like, the bombs hit and did critical damage, which meant when the torpedo bombers came in, The, the ship was just too damaged to actually do anything against them. And this, the, the valves are some of the most useless aircraft in the world. I mean, zeros are better than them things at attacking ships. At least the zeros, you can come and copy them in, and they're fast enough to get in. The Hornet seems to be the lucky E at this point in time. But, yeah, no, Vals, they are... Horrible. I mean, just downright horrible. Not get too close again. Okay, we shouldn't be close. Okay, well, she's dropped away behind, so that's fine by me. So we'll probably send torpedo bombers after Hornet. And these two cruisers, depending on how behind they get. Whoa, where the fuck did you guys come from? Okay, there's a bug and no it is not this is not escort. This is obviously a bug Okay 
Why are you turning that way? The enemy is over here. Get your asses in there. Because we got ourselves a fucking problem in a goddamn half. There was no aircraft in... Uh. That's it. This game after this is done on my channel for a while. We're, I got Halo Infinite and now they're doing their thing. Yep. Before I get even more pissed off at this game, I'm ending it here. Besides, I gotta get ready for work anyways. So yeah, this is a 21 minute to say this game is done for a while. I am done with this game for a while again. It seems like every time they fix something, they break the shit out of it. I'm assuming this is part of the mod for the TTE mod. I'm assuming that. And that this is not from the main game. There is no other aircraft in the area. And next now here come more fighters. So, yeah. I'm done with this game for a while. I just bought Halo Infinite. That's fun. That's going to be in the main just going to be the main game for the channel for a while until I'm either ready to play this again. Or this bug gets fixed because this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> this is some bullshit. Surprise, fucking surprise. This game is immediately, immediately, the more I play it, fucking drops to from one of my favorite games to being one of my most hated games. First off, I'm fine with the Super Hornet being a fucking enterprise. It actually makes for a good climax. I'm not fine with bullshit bugs. Or if it is a feature that they always have some form of cap, fucking change that. Because I don't. Anyway, the two thousand thank you for joining me on this Let's Play of War on the Sea. This game is ending for a while. Stay safe. And as I have an awesome, awesome day.